Hello and welcome to video tutorial how to create local user accounts on Windows Server 2003. To create local user account, right click on my computer, click on manage. This opens the computer management. In computer management, under system tools, select local users and groups. Expand local users and groups. Select users. Right click on users folder. Click on new user. We can also create new user by right clicking in the right pane and click new user. We can also create new user from the action menu. To do so, click on action, click on new user. Type the username for the new user. Let's say the user full name is Sandeep Kumar. So I will be giving username as first name and initial of the last name. Type the full name for the user. Type the description for the user. Let's say this user is junior administrator. Type the password for the new user. Confirm the password. Below we have four options. User must change password at next logon. User cannot change password. Password never expires. Account is disabled. The first option is user must change password at next logon. With this option checked, user is forced to change his password at next logon. The next option is user cannot change password. With this option, user will not be able to change his password. The next option is password never expires. With this option, user password will never expires. By default, user password expires after 42 days. With this option, user password will not expire after 42 days and user is not forced to change his password. The next option is account is disabled. With this option, account is created in the disabled state and user will not be able to log in until administrator enables the account. Here we will be selecting user must change password at next logon and click on create. Click on close. You can see that a new user account has been created with name Sandeep K. Let's log in with the new username with the new user account. Click on start, click on log off, click on log off. Press Ctrl or Delete to log in. Type the new username. Type the password for the new user. Click on OK. It will show a message you are required to change your password at first logon. This is because we have checked the option user must change password at next logon. Click on OK. Type the new password. Click on OK. It will show a message. Your password has been changed. Click on OK. Now we have logged in with a new user. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.